Hey everybody, it's Ben here in my garage again. Uh, last time I was working on the battery pack, I actually got these 18 Nissan Leaf modules together and compressed with some threaded rod and then put the bus bars and the cover on. Um, basically, this is ready to go into the Vectrix. Uh, a couple things I still have to figure out is I wanna put an ammeter shunt on here and that's gonna go to the cycle analyst, which is basically kind of a, a fancy electric bike computer. Um, but it should work uh, pretty good on the Vectrix here. It does need an ammeter shunt to go on the negative end. So what I'm gonna do to start with here is just spin the battery pack so at least it's going the right direction because where this is marked away, this is the front of the battery pack, which is gonna be that way on the motorcycle. Uh, so actually I have some, where did I set them? These are, uh, this was the piece that originally held the Nissan, um, the cell modules in the Nissan Leaf battery. I cut it in half so that I can just uh, put it right across these uh, little bolts coming up, tighten those down, and then I'll have a, a lifting point. I can just put my lifting strap right in here, lift it up into the motorcycle. But first, I'm just going to spin it around uh, so that uh, I can work on the negative, the ammeter end of the battery pack here. Okay, so now we are looking at the negative end of the battery pack. Right under here, uh, that's our negative uh, bus bar terminal. And then this is the wire harness. This is all original from the Nissan Leaf. Uh, and that goes to uh, all the connection points on the battery pack. So that'll be used for balancing. Now the thing is, I want to put an ammeter shunt on here. And that would be this. That's going to go to the cycle analyst. It has to go on the negative end. So basically I need this connected to this right here. Uh, so what I'm thinking is possibly, I mean it could slide right onto there, except there's not quite enough room for a quarter 20 nut right there. I still need to make that electrical connection from here to here somehow. So just looking at all my little bits and pieces, I do have one bus bar that it kind of makes a jog down and a jog over, but basically if I more or less put it here, then I put this kind of over here, I think that's going to work pretty well. Another thing I can do is I have a piece of fiberglass and I think I can mount this across those uh, two threaded rods and then that'll give me a nice place to uh, attach uh, that ammeter a little more simply. So I, I think I'm going to try that. First I'll cut this piece. And that's just a piece of old fiberglass, which is nice because it's an insulator. So here's a nice shiny bus bar. That's going to look beautiful in the motorcycle. So now I got this piece of fiberglass. I'll just uh, add a couple of uh, washers and quarter 20 nuts to hold it up in place, snug it up, and that way I can get um, good position. I can figure out exactly where the shunt uh, will be permanently mounted. So I'll just snug these up. Solid enough for right now. And then there's a couple of holes in here. This one looks like it'll be convenient for that right there. And then I'll just put a bolt through there to uh, give it its location. Then I'll mark a hole, mark a, a spot where I want to add a hole to hold down the other end. So then right here, that's where uh, I need the power to go. And then I'll be able to connect the negative battery cable over here, and then the shunt wires, the sensor wires will go here. So now what I have to do is get this bus bar from here down here. So, time for measurements.
So now I'm just going to hang that on there, measure down, and mark where I'm going to bend it next to go to that. Now you'll notice I'm not actually using a hammer or anything. I'm trying not to get too violent with this. Bus bars are usually copper uh, covered with nickel and uh, copper is pretty soft. Eh, looks like I did my bend a little too far. No big deal, just bend it back. Look that on there, that looks, looks pretty good. So I'll uh, cut off the extra material and then drill a hole. like that, more or less. Here we go, custom bus bar. So that'll go on the ammeter, that'll go up on the negative of the pack, even got a little insulation on here. Okay, this should all go together now. Put some nuts and washers on here. a quarter 20 bolts to hold the ammeter down. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So things are looking pretty good on the negative pack end. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's take a look at the positive end of the battery pack. Mm -hmm. 